Hi guys, it's Chris again. I'm here for another reaction. We're doing a Spotify Discover Weekly. You know what that means. That means I let Spotify decide what I'm going to listen to. I go in totally blind. This is literally my first reaction. Most of the time I don't even know who we're talking about. But today we are talking about an artist called Young Jesus with the song Gulf. So without further ado, let's get into it. I like it a lot so far. It's, um, yeah, it's really chill. I love the sound of the guitars. I love the mix of the um, the electric guitar and what sounded like acoustic guitar at the, uh, playing like counter, counter melodies. Um, the vocals are kind of in line with what I expected based on the intro. Um, nothing special there yet, but let's see, let's see where the vocals take us. Okay, I think I'm starting to get this. This is like a real chill vibe that they're putting across. It's almost kind of meditative is what, is what I'm getting from it. The vocals are kind of doubled, so there's not like really a clear like primary vocal. Uh, they're not like super loud in the mix either. They're, they're almost buried. They're just kind of there. You can follow them. You can work out what they're saying, but it also they just kind of ride on the music as well. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of enjoying... Like the sound of it, it's it's mixed really well. Like I understand what they've they've tried to do with the mix. It's uh, it's just got like a like a meditative feel to it, and it just kind of rolls. And yeah, I like it. Almost you could say like the Gulf, the the water, the ocean. It's kind of like got this rolling kind of tidal feel to it. I'm enjoying it. man this just went into like super powerful this this just kind of got really emotive like the build and the build the elements the harmonies that were brought in the piano the keyboards the guitars that really nice distorted guitar when it came in damn this is this is this is good i'm liking this <laughs> That motif, da, 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 da. so nice.
it's really nice and the whole thing's got this this kind of real jammy vibe to it right it doesn't feel like overly forced it feels really natural it wouldn't surprise me if it was recorded live for the most part um just based on on what i'm hearing um and this this really interesting guitar that's kind of placed front and center in this section is um it's got a lot of like natural room reverb it sounds like so um it just feels really organic and really adds to this kind of organic natural spontaneous vibe that i'm getting <laughs> You can imagine being in the room, like, watching these guys jam this out. Messing with you. They're messing with you, man. They're like, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, no, mate, not yet. Not yet. Nah. Ha. Ah. Got your number. Got your number, young Jesus. Riding these waves, man, these dynamics up and down, up and down. Just kind of loose drumming, just really adds to that organic feel. It's not like played to a click or anything. It suits the style of music a lot. vocals for a while. I have to say, I didn't know this song. It was 20 minutes long when I pressed play. And about three minutes ago, I spotted that I was about an eighth of the way through. did not mentally prepare. I'm, I'm not ready. Getting more loose, getting more jammy. Idea where it's going to go after this.
cacophony! We're heading into some extended noise section. It all falls apart. It all crumbles. And clarity? Will clarity emerge? Kinda. Kinda not. Bass sounds giving me uh, 80s prog vibes. Feel a drum solo coming on. Getting King Crimson vibes right now. of zoning out here I'm, I find myself just my gaze just kind of some nice atmospheric sounds in here as well swelling stringy organy vibes sporadic drumming style Interesting. The vocals here uh, come in quite, quite different to what they were before. I feel like now they're just they're kind of imitating the the kind of spasmodic, kind of irregular feel of the drums that have occurred in this kind of instrumental middle section, and they're kind of I I'm, I think they're going to kind of get more regular and everything's going to kind of start to fit into place into a more regular place and then build that that's my feeling about where it's going to go but let's see if i'm proved right or wrong seem almost quite improvised. I 
I will be very surprised if this hasn't been recorded live because there's just this kind of interplay and dynamics that is happening between the vocals and the drums that it just feels like it would be really counterproductive to try and get to if you were recording instrument by instrument. those synths and the vocals they kind of peaked together they felt where each other was going dynamically and they kind of of this tension they're building up this tension man they built up so much tension in that section They need that they had to kind of peter that out. I would have loved them to find some way to go straight from that chaotic kind of improvised section into this. That would have just well, that would have just taken me to, to another level. Let's 
theme. That theme is kind of slowly getting overtaken by noise and by kind of chaotic elements again, so I think we're kind of going to see it almost fade out completely now. Not in the way I expected, actually. Didn't expect that. Oh, listen to that, that feedback. You just feel it. Just the bass holding that motif now. remains Wow. Okay. Yeah, I did not um I did not know what I was getting myself in for. That is crazy. Literally at three and a half minutes I looked down at the at how far in I was and I was like there was a moment of panic. I was like, I did not sign up for this. Um but you know, that's what you get when you uh, when you go in blind. When you go in blind, that's what you get, and it's part of the journey. So did I enjoy it? Yeah, I thought it was really enjoyable. Really enjoyable. Um, it took me, it took me to loads of different places. I, the, the kind of the motif, the main motif that kind of sandwiches the song, the beginning and uh, and the end. It's, I mean, it's not the most inventive motif in the world, is it? And, but it just worked. It just, it just worked really well in the context of this song. Uh, they layered it really nicely. They harmonized it really nicely. They they just kind of built and built and built in the beginning and then took it, stripped it right back down. And then that whole middle section, that middle build, which is what felt like about 15 minutes. It wasn't quite 15 minutes, but I'd say it's probably about 10 minutes of of build and kind of experimental, impro improvisational kind of interplay between the instruments. That was kind of really, really interesting. And I can understand you've got to kind of, kind of be in, in a certain mood in order to really enjoy that. But, you know, one of the things I've got to be when I'm doing this is I've got to be as open as possible. And in that state of mind, I was I was really enjoying it. And then, like I said, during during the song, actually, the only thing that I would have really loved if they managed to segue straight from that middle section into the into the more uh, powerful um motif at the end instead of like dying down and then coming straight in because there was this point uh, there was this crescendo at the end of the middle section of that improvised section where I was just like it's going to take me somewhere it's going to take me you know to the to the next emotional plane right and it and it didn't quite take me there and maybe I was greedy maybe I, I was being greedy as a listener to want to be just taken a little bit further but that would have that would have just sealed the deal for me um but otherwise, yeah, fantastic song. Very interesting. Um, 
not what I expected. I expected a three minute song, which is why when I looked down, I was like, oh, but yeah, that was otherwise really, really cool. And um, yeah, I think uh, I'm going to listen to more of these guys, perhaps. So if you know of another Young Jesus song that I should listen to, please let me know. And I'm keen to check them, uh, check some more out. So, um, yeah, that's today's reaction. Thanks a lot for checking me out. Uh, like and subscribe and comment for any suggestions. And see you again soon. Take it easy.